today we can talk about sebaceous cyst it is one of the most common cystic swellings seen affecting the skin of an individual so what is a sebaceous gland to begin with before knowing what is a sebaceous cyst we must know what is sebaceous gland so sebaceous gland is a gland seen and present in the skin these glands secrete sebum which keeps the skin soft and oily so they are seen in close association with the hair follicles these glands have a duct which open near the hair follicle and that is how the secretions come out now what is a sebaceous cyst sebaceous cyst is a cyst that develops in a sebaceous gland it is a retention type of cyst it forms due to blockage of the duct of the sebaceous gland and so the gland gets distended with secretions resulting in a cystic swelling it is also known as an epidermoid cyst because it is lined by superficial squamous cells it is different from a dermoid cyst which we'll deal with in another topic it is also commonly known as ven so the histology reveals that this cyst is lined by squamous epithelium and contains sebum which is a yellowish pultaceous material with an unpleasant smell now regarding the common sites it can be seen anywhere in the skin wherever there is skin you can develop a sebaceous cyst except in the areas where there are no sebaceous glands like the palms or the soles certain locations you can develop multiple sebaceous cyst like the scalp face or scrotum now regarding the common clinical features it is a cystic swelling it usually grows up to a size of as high as 3 to 5 cm at the same time it may be a small swelling as small as 0.5 cm it is a cyst with a smooth surface and commonly has a blue or black punctum on its surface it is not freely mobile it is fixed to the skin and the swelling can be moved along with the skin it is a cystic swelling but it as it contains a pultaceous material it does not have the classic fluctuation instead it has the typical indentation sign if you apply pressure on the surface of the cyst it will show a depression so that is known as the indentation sign now when this cyst is infected it will have all the features of inflammation like tenderness erythema or redness localized rise in temperature and usually there will be associated surrounding induration and edema this is how the punctum looks on the cystic surface if you look carefully you can see the cystic uh, protrusion over there now the only investigation for a sebaceous cyst is an fnac now certain investigation depends like imaging for example ct head is done in the case of a scalp swelling to make sure that it is not a dermoid cyst as a co- as a common differential diagnosis to a sebaceous cyst in the scalp area is a dermoid cyst in such a case a ct head may be required to rule out an intracranial communication or a, a cranial scalp defect otherwise an fnac is the only investigation required for diagnosis of a sebaceous cyst now the treatment excision is the treatment of choice and it is done under local anesthesia we have two methods the ideal method is to place an elliptical incision around the punctum overlying the cyst and excise the cyst along with the overlying skin and punctum by dissecting all around the cyst alternatively some place an incision close to the punctum remove the punctum and open the cyst and avulse the cyst wall the cyst with its cyst wall from the surrounding surface this is called incision and avulsion technique now this is how the excision technique is you give a local anesthesia around the cyst 
then you place an elliptical incision including the punctum and along with the overlying skin and punctum you excise the entire cyst by dissecting all around and then you can close the wound with sutures this is the other technique where you place an incision and you try to avulse the cyst wall outwards by applying traction there is always a chance for cyst wall remnants to remain behind and recurrence of the cyst now if it is infected then you give antibiotics and anti-inflammatory drugs and analgesics to control the symptoms and if it is an ab already abscess formation has occurred then you plan an incision and drainage of the swelling the entire pus is drained and whatever cyst wall remnants that can be removed should be removed there is a high chance of recurrence following incision and drainage so this is how an infected sebaceous cyst looks with pus pointing so already an abscess is formed so here ind is a treatment of choice and not excision now in those who have multiple sebaceous cyst especially in the scrotal area then they are usually seen very close to each other so the entire scrotal skin can be not the entire the area which is involved by these multiple sebaceous cyst can be removed in total with a huge with a long and you a large elliptical incision and then primary closure can be done now in some cases the number of cysts are so many that almost the entire scrotal skin has to be removed in such a case uh, plastic surgery intervention is required either a, a skin flap cover is required or grafting may be done alternately if the entire scrotal skin is removed then the testes may be temporarily placed in the medial aspect of the thighs in pockets so that later a scrotum can be reconstructed and then the testes can be replaced however those uh, interventions are not commonly done hence the preferred one is to uh, alternatively the preferred one would be to excise the larger sebaceous cysts and then later on plan the excision of the remainder cysts in a stage wise procedure now some of the complications that are seen in a sebaceous cyst include infection and if untreated abscess and some cases it may ulcerate so ulceration then in a few it may have a growth like appearance known as cox specular tumor or in in uninfected cases if the secretion comes out and it is untreated or uncleaned then it may solidify to form a cox specular tumor sorry it may solidify to form a sebaceous horn other complications include calcification very rarely a malignancy may develop and the one post procedure is recurrence so if any cyst wall remnant or the duct or the punctum is left behind there is a high chance for recurrence so saying this i stop this topic thank you